baseball fans and welcome MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon it's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Milwaukee Brewers first pitch coming at you right after the break just about set to go and on the mound now Tobias Myers well no doubt about it he's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down now he's got good stuff he's just got to be able to have confidence trusted and really go after hitters not nibble trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats all right ready to get underway and now the first baseman Yandy Diaz this one in the air Contreras in position and he makes the catch and there's one down all right let's take a look at the Rays lineup they're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers so we'll see we might get some big swings here today yeah I think the key though and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in they're aggressive and they have a high confidence level so I think if that's the approach these hitters take with the stuff he's got there on the mound yeah there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way but you can't get too big in your swing otherwise you'll be really frustrated after this one one down base is empty Whoa. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. It gets down a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Man at first with one gone. Ahmed Rosario now at the plate. Sliced hard but foul. Rosario measures six feet two inches. Hitting third in the lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Palacios leads off first with one away. Base knock right field. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Isaac Paredes now trying to get the raise of the board. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. But I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one gone, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Porter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Almost got him. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two on, one out. Up and in. Three and one. Harold Ramirez up next. And he takes one right on the black. And it's a full count. Strikeout. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch, tailing away from the hitter, blowing away with some right good right action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Harold Ramirez at the dish. That one down the line and foul ball. Uh -oh. 
first and second two down. Lifted in the air right center field on his way in makes a nice grab and a full sprint and that is that a couple of hits in the inning but they can't get him home and now the Brewers will get their first cuts no score. Here in Milwaukee, getting the nod on the mound, Zach Littell. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two Ooh, outs, situations Ooh. where, yeah, maybe no you're not a here. real high strikeout yeah. guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Sal Fraley leading things off and takes a strike. That one fouled off. Right side. Me. Fires over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences, but... If you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind it. Here comes a pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, that's ball one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Started to swing, held up. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. Wouldn't chase that time. One out, base is empty. In the air, left field, down the line, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. And he walked him. That is third. That's your stop. Willie Adamas stands in. Fly ball to right. Ramirez calls it in, two away. Batting four. The designated hitter. Joey Weimer. Joey Weimer getting ready to hit. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Right through there for a strike. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And the right hander deals. Swing and a pop up under it. Makes the catch inning over. Brewer strand one, scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. Here's the rookie third baseman, Austin Shenton. The why to kick the pitch. And that one clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you'd have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. 
the second base. Curtis, Curtis Mead. Mead next to him for the Rays. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Perkins makes the grab and there's two gone. Batting it. The center field. Jose. And now it's Jose Siri. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That's in there. That's strike one. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Oh. Next offering misses down and away. One ball, one strike. Two outs, bases empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Perkins going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at American Family Field. We head to the bottom of the second. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out ball misses one. outside ball one yeah and because he's got the big arm he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it and oh, that's good. off the inside edge two and oh righty delivers and another ball. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics uh. intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. And a pitch. Foul ball there. So now three and two. And that's oh, too high. Oh, ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. So up next, Blake Perkins. And a foul ball. And a pitch on the ground to first, oh. and that's just foul. The 0-2. That's the ball. Sanchez on at first, nobody out. Misses. And the count is two and two. It's a good take. That okay. misses the zone. Three and two now. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base that runner that win. That. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And the 1 0. And that's down it away. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next offering is in for a strike. Man at first, one away. Fouled off. He was late.
left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now two gone. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. Just Yo, missed. Kicks and fires. That's in there. And it's a ball to strike. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Siri makes the catch, and that'll do it. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. We head on down to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And we're back out of the play. third inning. And here's the catcher, Renee, Renee Pinto. Pinto. Myers back to work. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. <laughs> on the ground to the left, Ortiz. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The first base is number two, Yandy Diaz. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz now. He's over one. Right. And there's a strike on the outside Come corner. On. One strike. Late swing fouled off. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. On the ground right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot a through for a knock, and he'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Runner at first with two away, and now it's Ahmed Rosario. One for one with a single so far. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back to back singles. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Isaac Paredes. His first at bat was a strikeout. Oh. And downstairs. One ball, no strike. Two outs. And that one fouled off. And there's a ball. Two on, two outs. That one finds the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in Milwaukee, except for the bottom of the third, here's the rookie right fielder, Jackson Chorio. Pitch. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, now the 01. A little out front there as he swings through it. That one just misses. On the ground. And it goes just foul. That one in the dirt, and the count's even at two. Got it by him for the K. Just a great slider right there, and I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Freeland batting for the second time, and that strike one. This one in the air. Diaz makes the play. Out number two. Now bad. First base. And now it's William Contreras. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Pushed foul. Two down, nobody on. And that one upstairs. Next offering is down low. Just a slow ground ball this time. Over to Diaz. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still no score. Start of the fourth. And stepping in for the Rays, Harold Ramirez. Ramirez in his fifth season, 29 years old, and he's a native of Columbia. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no oh, score. Oh. Just missed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, out towards right center. Under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. So digging in, Austin Shenton. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch, and he just misses. That one missing inside. All tied up, top half of inning number four. That's in there. Now two and one. Into center. Perkins gliding in towards the infield. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two away. Now up for Tampa Bay, Curtis Mead. That's in there at the knees for a strike. In the air, out towards left center, and it drops in. And that extends the inning. 
Now that the seventh. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not. But off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Now a chance for Jose Siri. Fought off foul. Fourth, no score. Bottom four, Willie and now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. The shortstop, Willie Adamas. And the right hander back to work. That one outside, and it's one to know. Well, these Brewers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Now this is in the air down the line, and that's a foul ball. The wide, the kick, and the 1-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. Not in time. He's safe. So next, it's the Brewers cleanup hitter, Joey Weimer. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Pitch ball. misses there, and that's ball one. One ball. Okay. Yes. Right through there for a strike. to first might be two to second oh. there's one how about that double play to me that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield the first baseman here, here, here. has to get inside create a throwing here, here. lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play and then from there completing it back to first really good job all the way around Gary Sanchez now he reached out a walk his first time oh. ball one no strikes what a no. Down, nobody on. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And the slider catches the zone. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And that one fouled off. This one popped up right side. Diaz sizing this one up. Makes the catch, and that is that. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. Back here at American Lee Family Gump Field, Gump. top five, Gump. John Shabby with Chris Rene. Singleton. And leading Pinto. it off, Renee Pinto.
Myers back to work. And that one is inside ball one. one ball. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to Go some straight. frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. The wind of the pitch. That's a slider for a strike. And another ball. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake the team up with the free pass. Here's the Rays' leadoff hitter, Yandy Diaz. And a curve is down and in. Way to lay off that pitch down. Right side. He's under it. He's got it. Now have left so next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Richie Palacios. Runner takes off. Hard hit, right side. Throws to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Rosario, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Kicks and deals. Oh. That misses. Now 2-0. Oh. And it's second. Three ball. Go In the right. dirt. Well done behind the dish. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's a strike. And that's ball four. First and second, two outs. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isaac Paredes, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that one fouled off. In the dirt, blocked. Runners stay where they are. That's ball one. Yeah, the righty deals. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Bounce to the right. And that's a base hit around third. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. He will score. And it's 1-0. Well, it comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Harold Ramirez digs in now. And the pitch is outside, ball one. one and 
Rosario, the lead runner out at second. Paredes at first, two out of the inning. That one the other way, and makes the play, and that's out number three. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Got the batter down. Blake Perkins. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. And that's too high. Bryce Terrain in the Milwaukee on deck circle. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, dude. Really. Oh, that's what it wasn't even close. This is Bryce Terrain. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And fouled off. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The Brewers down by a run. Last half of inning number five. Going to oh. count one and two. One ball. Two straight. Oh. Can't get out of the way of the fastball. And that's going to sting. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. He's 0 for 1. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. 0-1. First and second, no outs. As the Rays try and punch back down a run. Puts a bunt down. Shenton. Off balance throw. In time. They go 5-3 for the first out now as the third right baseman right. makes the play yeah. from the shortstop spot in the shift. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio went down on strikes his first time through. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And okay, that's ball one. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. And he deals. Hit high, that gets through. One runs in. The throw home. Not in time. He's safe. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way. And it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now here is Sal Freeland. And he pumps in a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Righty to the plate. That misses the zone. Now one and two. Activity in the bullpen. Chris Davinsky getting loose out there. Alexander getting cranked up as well. And a one-two. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. He makes the grab. Oh. 
now batting first base William Contreras. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voiced that his little brother may end up being better than he is. The pitch. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. At the belt and fires. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left. Five innings complete. It's the Brewers two, the Rays one. And we're back. Top six digging in. Austin Shenton. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown right, inning. Don't give that other team on, any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The 0-2. Missed inside with the curve. Action in the pen down there. Bryce Wilson appears to be getting loose. Milner, a left-hander, also throwing. And a 1-2. Usually you're going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. That's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Curtis Mead, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. Line of the pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The line of the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And a count one and two. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. That was the emergency hack right there. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. At that time, a little anxious. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Two down, nobody on. That oh. misses the zone. Ball two. Right hander kicks deals. That one finds the zone. Two and two now. It's a strikeout. 
impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Back here in Milwaukee, and now Willie Adamas. And a pitch. Whoa. And that's outside. Ball one. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Phil Maton warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Foul ball. Ball to strike. This to third. Shent gets it to first, and they get Adamas for the out. Now, now the, the designated hitter, Joey Weimer. Now the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Joey Weimer. Swinging a foul straight back. And the right hander deals. They say it went. Oh, two. That's off the mark. One and two to count. And that one hit to first. Diaz takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. The catcher, number 99, Gary Sanchez. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Gary Sanchez now. Right through there for a strike. And ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you. That he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence long run is raised right here. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. And now Kevin Cash out of the dugout and ready to make a move to the bullpen. Zach Littell will depart. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Tyler Alexander. He's pitching on two days rest. Blake Perkins up now for the Brewers. A switch hitter batting right. That one's in there. Strike one. And now the lefty. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Sanchez leads off first with two down to the inning. Ball one there. The pitch. And they'll do it again. And the pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. 
good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat hacks and misses it's a strikeout Milwaukee leaves one they lead it 2 one Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Bryce Wilson hasn't pitched in the last three days. Here's the catcher, Renee Pinto. Pinto. The catcher, the catcher. Renee, Renee Pinto. Pinto. And here it comes. That's in there, and that is strike oh one. My. High in the air, out to right. He's got it. And there's one down. The first base is number two. Yandy. So the batting order Diaz. turns over, and here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Wilson, in his fourth year, 26 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. Foul ball there. Trying to hold a one run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. Just no. misses with that one. One ball. Two straight. Inside gets out of the way. And that one is inside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two no, balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Palacios in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Runner on the goal. Fouled off. He was late. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The one two. Oh, two. Hit on the ground might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Ahmed Rosario next to hit for the Rays. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Now a screamer into the outfield. And a base hit right there. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And next is the designated hitter, Isaac Paredes. And that one off the outside edge. Pitch yeah, misses, and now two and zero. Oh. Huh. Big swing and a miss. The two on. 
And that one got a piece of him. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner, and I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure right now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Two outs, bases full. Harold Ramirez next to hit for the Rays. And that one fouled off. Fouled off down the right side. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Two outs on the ground, right side, terrain. To escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. And the Rays leave them loaded. And our score remains 2 1. Bottom of the inning, up now for Milwaukee, Bryce Terang. And the pitch. Ball no, one, no ball. strikes. Evidently not too impressed with that call, and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner, so he's making his case. You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire, and he felt this was his time. And no, no. another ball. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. center that one gets down for a hit and the leadoff man aboard that was maybe even a little off the plate but Third no pitch problem pitch. getting the barrel to it man he does such a nice job and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location and here is Joseph Ortiz round ball left side and it gets by him The right Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. One for two. That one fouled off. Pitch right through there for a strike. No ball, two strike. Oh. Pitch misses, and the count is one, one and two. Ball, two strike. Wouldn't no, chase two. that time. Still two and two after the foul ball. Terang at second. Ortiz at first with no outs. Good eye right there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Ground ball could be two. One at second. Back to first, and that is a double play. That's well, a huge pitch right there. It looked like he was going to be a big inning, but you get the double play. I guess you'd say here's a chance for the next guy to pick up his teammate, though. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one.
two outs and a runner at third. Here the bottom of the seventh. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count one and two. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. That misses. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Elvis Piguero. And stepping in for the Rays, Austin Shenton. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And he deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen, Joel Piamps, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Looking to get the tying run on base. And fires in a fastball at 95. That one to first. He'll do it himself. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That's why you hunt the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Position perfectly. Here's the second baseman, Curtis Mead. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. one off the mark and that's ball one and that's in the dirt okay. holding on to a one run lead and we're at the top of the eighth through always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through it's just bigger than your own individual stats just kept it simple played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down now up for Tampa Bay Jose Siri that one finds the zone it's a one Pitch. Strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Up and in, and a count one and two. One run game, one out, one on. He's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third yeah, strikeout, yeah. and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And now the catcher comes up to him. Rene Pinto. And yeah, there's a ball. Right now, they're looking for something. Hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. Drops in for a strike. Strike three. Got him swinging. 
Third out. The Rays strand just the one. They're down two to one. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Bill Maytag gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Up now for Milwaukee, William Contreras. The first big thing. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues, and... This kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well, said, yeah, he's good, and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually. Oh, and two now. Just oh, off one. the inside edge. One ball. Two straight. That one the other way. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Now batting. Shortstop. Willie. Adamas. Willie Adamas. Up now for the Brewers. One for three. And that's outside. One and Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one misses, and that's ball two. He hasn't wanted to challenge him, both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. One down, base is empty. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. comes a pitch hit on the ground to the right side Diaz Count. steps on the bag two up two down now bad the designated, designated hitter, hitter. Joey. two Weimer. outs base is empty and now Joey Weimer first pitch ball. misses one ball no strike Swing and a miss. Strike one. one, one. Right through there for a strike. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. Just missed. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Right-handed reliever. Bows it back with two strikes. Two-two now. Out to short, Rosario. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Brewers go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2 1 lead. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Joel Pyamps. 
Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes a one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because that's when he pitches his best. Diaz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. In for a strike. And a count even at one. A wide to kick the pitch. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away still one and two. Strike out for the first out here in the night. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Palacios in the box now. Take strike one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Off the mark there. And one and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. In the air to left down the line. And that will drop foul. And now two and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And now Ahmed Rosario. And a foul ball. The pitch. The shortstop ball. takes the ball. One ball, one strike. Huh. Swings through that. Oh, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Pines is just one strike away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Congratulations to him on a major milestone. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.